Drake has four. Ah, uh, wait. Got like the dude. <clears throat> To Kendrick Lamar, future Metro Boomin, and everyone else who has been coming at him with an insane diss track, and as what seems like the entire rap game has turned on Drake. The pressure. Now listen, now listen, now listen. Let me just say this right now. Let me just say this right now. Just like what he just said, like how they hold, like just, they just uh, went ahead and switched against Drake. It's kind of crazy, bro. It's not like Drake's always been hated in the industry, bro. Maybe it's because he's just that good or some shit. I don't know. Me personally, I'm taking, I'm taking Drake's side because. Bruh, if you having like six niggas just to go against one person, bruh, you already lost. I'm just saying. So in a rap world where nah, I saw the, I saw the, I played the disc in an all out musical war. I listened to this earlier, for the bro. OBO rapper to actually respond to the guys who he has had so much tension brewing with for years. And with this new diss track, Drake has shown that he is ready for battle as he comes firing at his rivals in full force. Now on this diss track, Drake has five main targets who he attempts to humiliate with them being Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. Future, Metro Boomin, Now, now, Louis. that shocked me. The Future, the Future diss shocked me very much, bro, because, bro, they were boys. Life is good, you know what I'm saying? Like, what a time it is to be alive. I don't, I don't know why I just said it like that. But what a time to be alive? Are you serious? The weekend, though, I already know that's happening. Metro, we already know that. Kendrick, we already know. But Future, though, it hurt me when I heard the news, bro. I heard it's over like a girl or something, which is kind of like, eh, you know. Weekend. Never beef, never beef with a brother over a girl. Oh yeah, this nigga too, Rick Ross. What the fuck? When the fuck did he get get tossed into the fucking fight? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know where he even uh, like equates in this whole situation, bro. Cause he wasn't even mentioned, was he? I don't know. And Rick Ross, who of course all just dissed him on Future and Metro's album "We Don't Trust You," and while Drake fired at all these artists. The one who he seemed to spend the most time coming at is Kendrick Lamar, and considering the fact I mean, that that's the main target subliminals at each other for over a decade, and also that Kendrick just came at Drake with one of the most insane verses that rap has seen in years. Oh, let me make sure. Let me make sure y'all can hear the video. My bad. Auto technician just so. K-Dot. Drake made sure to at least say things that actually could hurt him. Although when you look at the shots that Drake threw in there, nah, nah, nah. Look, 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 look. look. I don't know if he's gonna play him. But in my personal opinion on the disc that Drake dropped against him, it was hard. It was hard. I ain't gonna lie. It was actually hard. I can't even front. But Rick Ross's disc, his, like, his response? <sighs> I don't know, bro. Drake got come with like a crazy heavy hitter, bro. But I heard some shit that, uh, that got leaked. But I don't want to play it, though, because I, I don't want Drake to come hawk my shit down. You know what I'm saying? Hawk my YouTube down. Strike it down. He made one mistake that may end up costing him this entire feud, but before we can understand that, we have to look at the way Drake designed this performance as a whole to not just clap back at Kendrick, but to play on and subvert the very ideology of his sentiments on like that as a whole. Hmm. Whether Drake responds to Kendrick's Prince outlived Michael Jackson bar with a line like, what's a prince to a king, he has son. Bro, that was, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was dick riding that, that line too much, bro. Niggas was dick riding that whole Prince that Prince MJ line, bro. I can't even lie, bro. Because if you ask the regular, like, if you ask, like, an average music listener, okay, who would you prefer, Michael Jackson or Prince? A majority vote is going to go to MJ regardless, bro. So you already categorizing yourself as Prince. It's kind of like, eh, nigga, you not like that, you know what I'm saying? But you is like that still, you know what I'm saying? Prince still get his respect regardless, you know what I'm saying? He was still the king. Almost rejected my statement. Let's, let's take that back. Yeah. Prince was, you know what I'm saying? He had his he he has great accomplishments in the pop genre, you know what I'm saying? But the king of pop, we all know who it is. It's MJ. So like I said, if you you placing yourself in that category, it's kind of just like a little bit of a back step in your disc, you know what I'm saying? But that's just that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I don't I didn't really get what saying. I don't understand that line. I didn't understand. Fire back at Kendrick's line. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. The way Drake plays on a lot of what Kendrick said on like that shows that Drake didn't just do his homework coming into this battle, but also that he's still able to dissect all of the chips his opponents threw out against him and listen, throw them right listen, back in listen, their face. And in listen, a battle of this, Drake is not just a pop star y'all gotta remember that bro if you get this nigga enticed if you get this nigga a little too heated up he's gonna snap he's gonna start spewing just fucking flames nigga you know what i'm saying bar wise drake is up to par bro niggas keep disregarding that shit bro he's up there man do not do not get it twisted bro kendrick i give the man his respect the man's a a, a rapping legend you know what i'm saying he's cemented stop discrediting that just because my boy's a white canadian jew come on man stop 
Stop it, man. Let my boy rock. This is a skill that can help him hold now, his let me own chill, Let me chill, let me chill, let me chill, let me not say that, let me not say that, let me not say that, let me not say that. Let me not say that. Let me not say when he disses Lamar's shoe size with a bar like, how you big stepping with a size 7 men's on. And the whole bit where he clowns Kendra for doing features on pop songs with artists like Maroon 5 and Taylor Swift is a nice dig at Kendra for what it is, but as these disses are nothing more than just some light jabs. They are not defining what this diss really means for the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, as Drake takes much bigger swings at him in the track, but the question really is, does he land them? Now one of the main ways Drake tries to clown Kendrick is mm. by saying that he is just as inauthentic as any other artist in the music industry and beyond this. Whatever Top Dog Entertainment orders him to do, he will instantly huh? follow. And despite Kendrick not being on TDE anymore, thought, but I thought, yeah, I thought he's not—he's not signed to TDE no more. So why would he still be doing things for TDE if he's not signed to him? Oh, oh. Which makes a lot of this feel like it was written years ago. This is one of the strongest angles that Drake tries to come at Kendrick with as he alludes to the fact that Lamar is getting legally extorted by the label and with Drake having signed a $500 million contract with Universal where huh? he keeps his masters. He most likely does have the edge to knock Kendrick about this on some level, but regardless of splits Wait. and deals. Talking about how bad a record contract may be is only going to push Drake Wait, so, so Wait, so did TDE give Kendrick like a bad record deal? I've heard Drake still had to pay money to Lil Wayne though, can't even lie. That's just according to Rick Ross. I'm just I'm just taking the information I'm being received. But his disses don't stop here. Now, while Drake responding to Kendrick's big three claims and saying that Travis Scott, SZA, and 21 Savage are all in the conversation before him may seem pretty random and strange. Now, we're time. talking about... Okay, 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 okay. That bar that, that Drake said, bro, when he was like, you got, they got SZA over you, Travis over you. Are they really, like, above Kendrick? And when I got my full thoughts like laid out, if you're not like an in-depth like rap nerd in, in a sense, if I can say that, then you you wouldn't be that big of a fan of Kendrick. Like you would give respects or maybe not, depending on the person you are. You probably just wouldn't give a fuck. So you would probably lean more towards Twenty One, the Travis type of genre of rap. Sizzle though, that's that's just, yeah. You can't even put them in the same. You can't even do that. Wait, I just thought about it, bro. No, you can't put them in the same. You can't compare the two. You can't compare it. Says it to Kendrick. What the fuck? Jake, that was like some bullshit. I can't even lie. But I see what you're trying to say, but that was just some bullshit. What's really significant about this here is that Drake name drops SZA, who was on TDE alongside Kendrick for years and with a move like this, while also talking about how Top Dog's management takes at least half of what Kendrick Lamar's music made, he's being really Damn. tactical as he's doing all this to try to tear up Kendrick Lamar from the inside and beyond this. Someone let me know this fact, right? Is the, is the, was the deal that Kendrick had really bad? They talking about taking half? But I mean, that's the industry, though. They usually take hella shit from artists. Possibly but. for the worst, as overall, the line that is going to end up holding the most weight from this track when we look at it in its entirety is when Drake says, I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. And while on the surface, mm. this is just a line where Drake is boasting and making a reference to Whitney Houston and her starring role in the film Bodyguard. And that's when you true. understand the fact that that's true. That nigga, that nigga Drake does move with a heavy, a hefty, hefty security, bro. I remember this nigga came to fucking Spellhouse, bro. Nigga was moving like 20 deep, bro. Yo, what's good? What we doing? Yo, we looking at, we looking at, the Drake beef right now, but we looking at that shit. Then we gonna look at my boy Kai, and then we got we about to hop in this horror game, bro. Gonna be funny, gonna be fucking insane, bro. And then I probably just hop on Rainbow afterwards, bro, and just chill, just vibe. His wife's name is Whitney. You realize that this bar serves bro. as an attempt to get under Kendrick's skin with a reference to something in his private and personal life, and by doing this, while it may seem super oh shit, I just got I, the bar just crossed my head. It just crossed my head. I be with bodyguards like Whitney. Whitney is a, a, a Kendrick's fucking wife. Oh my god, why I say it like that? That was kind of disrespectful. But bro, I was mentioning the wife now. Remember the last time the the, my, the wife was mentioned? Remember the last time Pusha T came in? Hey, nigga, you have a son. You know what I'm saying? That's how he came out. Jake, you about to awaken some crazy ass shit, bro. That's why, that's why J. Cole apologized, nigga. That's why he apologized, bro. Cause he knew, he knew. Once he, once he like get K. Dot ramped up, you know what I'm saying? He might just, he might just spaz up. But I'm, I'm, I just want to see where this goes, honestly. I really want to see where this goes. I know I said earlier I was gonna take Jake's side, but I'm on nobody's side. I just want to see how this goes, bro. I just want to see the music that comes out of this, cause 
I ain't gonna lie, the disc that Rick Ross dropped was the last time I ever listened to Rick Ross. I can't even lie. Like, the real dude, like, last time I really listened to that nigga was when he was playing on the radio. And that was like a... Pfft, come on now. Diabolical and show I mean, that Drake is wrong. operating on a level other. where he is willing to destroy anything in any way possible. When you know all the facts, you really gotta ask yourself if Drake has learned at all from his last massive feud. Because after mentioning Pusha T's uh, uh, wife's government see, on his see, side, free we know. Push came we already Drake know. The biggest tell of his career with the story of Adidon. But overall, aside from this possible mistake, Drake responded back to Kendrick with about as good of a performance as he could have, as his shots were calculated, diabolical, and well written. But with Drake relying on some of the same methods he used in his beef with Pusha T here, this could have given Kendrick all the motivation to do something truly nuclear against him. But beyond dissing just Kendrick, Drake threw a lot of smoke at future Metro Boom in the week. Hey, and hey, 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 all the hey, 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 this is still some bullshit. We need these niggas. Bro, I need Thug to be free ASAP. Once Thug gets out, I swear to God, once Thug gets out, bro, it's going to be like the Pope just came through the hip-hop, bro. I swear to God, bro. He's going to cause all the feuds to just diffuse, bro. I swear to you, bro. Once Thug gets out of jail, bro, all this beef is going to be watered under the bridge, bro. Everyone's going to be cool again, bro. Trust me, bro. These artists. It seemed like even Trust Drake me, was shocked that he had to disc Rick Ross. This Niggas gonna have a sit down and squash all the beef, bro. I it promise like you, Drake bro. shut down Rick Ross as he dissed him from every single angle he could have, but just a few hours after Push Up surfaced. Ross has already fired back with a diss of his own as he has shown the power of competition Oh, he did, he did. That's nice. That's nice. You know what? I love that, too. I love that, too. Even though I wasn't expecting it. Rick Ross, what the fuck does Rick Ross have to say about this, bro? Rick Ross, sit your old ass down. Type shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, though. Like, no disrespect. But, like, chill. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be going at niggas like this. But that nigga came back and he was spitting some shit. Yes! Spitting some shit! Oh. I will, I'm, I will gladly congratulate my nigga Rick Ross for, for, for clapping back that fast. I will congratulate him, bro. Because that was, like... Like that, nigga. Ross was able to craft a track. Once that shit got leaked, like two hours later, bro, I swear Ross to God, it was a crazy day of hip hop. That actually revealed why he turned on Drake in the first place. From Ross saying how Drake's failed at running a label to questioning Drake's own credibility because of the persona he tries to betray himself through. Ross throws out some pretty solid shots at Drake, but beyond the jabs, what makes this cut insane in its own regard is where Ross says, told you, stay scheming, I predicted my fate, which is obviously referring to his collab with Drake and French Montana, and with Ross's message on the song being very clear about the fact that he will always be by the side of his friends. Later in the track, we find out that he wasn't just defending any friend, but French Montana of all people, as Ross says that Drake threatened to take legal action against French to avoid having a collab of theirs on his latest project. Mac and Cheese 5, and regardless of what you think about French, this is wild for so many reasons. As hey, 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 I was trying to understand the bar too, because I didn't understand, like, why, why would he throw a cease and desist out there? You telling me you put out a cease and desist just to avoid features with the nigga French? Oh my god, that is sad, bro. You gotta be a very, like, tragic musician to sit through that shit, bro. I can't even lie, bro. That means nobody, that nigga does not want to be on French's song, bro. That's crazy, bro. Damn. Damn, French. I don't know this. Uh, shit. Yo, imagine being that bad of a of an artist in today's standards, bro. For niggas to be like, nah, I gotta put legal action on you just to make sure I don't get the feature. Beyond showing, or just to make sure you don't get the feature, shit. Right. We now know that Drake went as far to God threaten damn. an artist who has worked with him so closely in the past with legal action. Now, the only thing that holds this diss track back is the fact that Ross drops this insane information just by blabbing on at the end of the diss and not actually by rapping it, but still. Mm. With the insane things he revealed yeah. about Drake and for taunting him with that shit was funny. That, that shit was funny, though. At the end of the song, that shit was funny, though. That nigga was talking some white boy. Yeah, white boy. Big nose white boy. Yeah, you got that man BBL, huh? Yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying? Maybach music. That's why we got this button here. It came like the a lot. Clip where Drake says his favorite rapper is Rick Ross. While he won't definitely get the fanfare that Drake has gotten, it's clear that Ross and Drake are going to have even more back and forth if either of them wants to walk out be scary, as a clear winner against one another. Now, right behind Kendrick. The rapper who Drake comes at the most here is Future, and as Future has had some of the most successful moments of his career while working with Drake, Drake had a much stronger angle to enter the ring against him with, as he immediately comes at Future on this track, talking about how he gave him his first number one song, and throughout the rest hey, of the- Hey, 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 fuck that. I don't give a- bruh. 
Fuck that, bro. Listen, listen. Man, actually, man, fuck the side shit now, man. Fuck all that shit, man. Drake, that was some bullshit too, bro. That's again some bullshit, bro. Okay, yeah, we get it. You probably did give this nigga his like first Billboard number one, but in the hood, nigga, in the fuck, nigga. Me bumbo clot. Nigga, in the in the fucking oh my god, my brother, I need the gunshot for this. Nigga. Oh my oh my god. God. nigga, in the fucking streets, nigga, especially in Atlanta, bro. Yo, come on, bro. Come on, man. Let's be real. Future had literally trap gospels, nigga. Like in the in the fucking streets, bro. This this the like the mixtapes probably would have went like goddamn quadruple platinum. I don't even know. I just said that right. My speech impediment is fucking me up, bro. Platinum, <laughs> number one hit. Drake, fuck out of here with that shit, bro. We get it. Billboard, yeah. Who 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 gives a fuck about Billboard, bro? That is a big accomplishment in like the music industry. I get it, but like. Bro, nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. If the streets ain't talking about it, bro, it ain't popping, bro. Drake telling Metro to be quiet and make some. Nah, that was okay. <laughs> he said, shut your. <laughs> he said, make some drums, nigga. He said, make some drums, nigga. That was funny. I can't even lie. Otherwise, it will seem like they already lost. Now, after over a decade of tension, another artist who got some shots thrown his way on this track was The Weeknd, as Drake came at him for seemingly abandoning Toronto and faking his relation to their city, but he doesn't stop here as he clowns The Weeknd for giving Future and Metro so many features and also allowing his manager to apparently He's, blow oh a lot God. of his money away. You know what's so crazy, though? I don't see that many people talk about The Weeknd as much, bro. Whenever they talk like about a big artist in Toronto, they always go towards Drake rather than the bell, bro. Damn, now I'm thinking about it. I don't see The Weeknd give that much love to Toronto. Now, as The Weeknd's a singer, it'll be interesting to see how, if he at all, engages further in this feud. And while these are the five main artists who receive all the shots from this track, beyond the disses, Drake also makes it a point to mention J. Cole on this cut and his recent move of apologizing to Kendrick. Bullshit. As Drake I hate that. that he care I hate it. He just did a joint tour with Thinks because in his eyes, Kendrick Lamar's verse on Like That was I think that dot shit was weak as fuck. <sighs> But no, on, no, like, no on, on a serious note, on a serious note, on a serious note, I understand why J. Cole, would, he's wanted to squash the beef, like, besides, like, the whole di going diss for diss and all that, I understand, because, you know, if, you, if we went back to, like, a video, like, before my whole internet fucking crisis happened, we went back to a video when they were talking about the J. Cole and Kendrick beef, you know what I'm saying, down, down to, like, when they first started, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they had, a, like, a long... They have a long explanation that, rather than compared to, like, Cole and Drake. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why you went ahead and just apologized. So, I understand it. But, bro, you went ahead and you dropped Mike Delete later on top with the seven-minute drill. And you put that shit up after that nigga Kendrick just spazzing y'all niggas. And you gonna go or turn around and say, Nah, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean it. I was just peer pressure. Nigga, you gotta stand on it, bro. You don't see Metro taking off the fucking disc. Oh, because, oh, because it's causing too much of a ruckus. No, nigga, you gotta stand on it, Cole. You can't just go ahead and just take the shit back. Nah, it's bad. you just look pussy now, bro. I can't respect you now, bro. I, like, real shit, I can't respect you for real. If I see you, I'm gonna still dap you up though, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna still dap you up. You guys gotta stand on it, bro. Energy just stand really on the it. the channel man. at this moment to hold his own in this beef against Kendrick. So overall, looking at how Drake went against so many heavyweights in the industry who are dissing him with only the help of a DJ academic sample, it's pretty <laughs> impressive to see how much damage he was able it's to do. Act, While bro. Kendrick, in the grand scheme of things, is really not phased by any of this, despite how hard it may have been, and if anything, Yo, all of these shots. Listen, listen. In the future, especially the people in my age, I'm 21. Okay. Let's let's give some thanks to academics, bro. Because if, if it wasn't for Ac. We wouldn't know half of the shit that's going on, bro. We wouldn't know half of the shit that's going on in the media, bro. I'm telling you, bro. He does his shit, bro. We don't think we're ever gonna have another act, too, bro. Act be like this on the news, bro. Like if Act or TMZ ain't say it, then it's probably not real. Facts. Thoughts are only gonna make Kendrick's diss even harder for everybody else. Future and Metro Boomin are gonna have to do something diabolical to get an edge over Drake and for the weekend. While he walks out of this looking the best out of him, Future, and Metro, he still needs to go against Drake in a way of his own. So overall, 
this track definitely succeeded in what it was trying to do for the most part. Now, with a lot of the people coming at Drake seemingly being put to rest for a but while, I mean, like the teaming up shit is kind of looking wag, at the though, center bro. stage I don't, matchup I don't. of this entire beef, which is of course Drake versus Kendrick. I don't fuck Long. with it, bro. The balls have been placed I mean, right back in Kendrick's court as after getting the most direct and personal shots that have ever been thrown at him in his entire career. It's now time for Kendrick to prove once and for all who the king of this generation is as Drake has stood up and challenged him in a way that no other rapper has ever and while Kendrick still may be the favorite in this beat, nah. Drake is definitely going to push him to the limit. This, this shit is like really some, This shit like some, 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 some Jin versus Kazuya type shit. Nigga like, oh my god. As we are witnessing a battle unfold between the two most important Not related though, but like, and no matter story what side you are on and who you want yeah. to win. Just appreciate watching these two go at it in a way that is truly changing everything in rap music. So let me know. What do you think of Drake's new diss track? And who do you think got hurt the worst? And who do you think is gonna come out of this? Bro, listen, listen. This is this is this is this is how it's gonna go, okay? This is exactly how this is gonna go. K is gonna say some shit. Drake gonna come back and say some shit. Once Thug gets out, bro, it's gonna defuse everything, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Get the rest, get out of there. I do cash, not no visa. Got them on me everywhere. I get dope, niggas, leases, and they simps, and I swear. Your whole chose ain't my fault. They for everyone, why you care? I'm a magician.